Well, it looks like we have a long line of cops just waiting to outdumb themselves, as opposed to outsmarting themselves. Last week, the Dumbest Cop in America Award easily went to Officer Survival Roll Mag Dump Scaredy Cat Hernandez, who let the sound of a falling acorn supply him with the justification he needed to empty a couple mags in his patrol vehicle with an innocent Marquise Jackson cuffed in the back seat. This week, the Dumbest Cop of the Week Award goes to Columbus Police Officer or former Columbus Police Officer Robin Connor. Connor thought it would be a good idea to pull up to Dick's Sporting Goods in her patrol car and steal a pair of sneakers while in uniform. The city council fires a Columbus police officer accused of shoplifting. The city council and the mayor met in a special call meeting today. In a 5-0 to zero vote, the council ter terminated Robin Connor. Connor is accused of shoplifting a pair of $140 shoes from Dick's Sporting Goods store on Thursday. And sad to say, the world would be a much better place if this is all the bad that cops did. Yeah, stealing stuff is bad juju, but let's look on the bright side. At least she wasn't tasing somebody in the privates in front of their distraught kids like Glendale police officer Matt Schneider and his band of armed thugs who exacted tyranny on Johnny Wheatcroft. At least she wasn't abusing an elderly grandma with dementia like Loveland cops Austin Hopp and Daria Jalali did to a fragile Karen Garner in Loveland, Colorado. At least she wasn't shooting innocent people like Daniel Shaver, who was just trying to comply with her commands like Mesa PD's Philip Brailsford did. At least she wasn't stealing people's money under civil asset forfeiture like the Nevada Highway Patrol did to Stephen Lara. And as far as we know, Officer Robin Connor didn't lock anybody in the backseat of her cruiser in handcuffs and park it on the railroad tracks or dump it in the Tennessee River. At least she didn't murder a man who just wanted to live by himself in the desert like Albuquerque cops did to James Boyd. And that we know of, at least she didn't kill a man who just saved her life and the lives of her compadres like Arvada cops did to Johnny Hurley. At least she didn't run over any 13-year-olds like Cabell County Deputy Jeffrey Racer did to Laney Hudson. And at least she didn't kill somebody's beloved pet or keep a family from saving a beloved pet and then hold them at gunpoint in the middle of a busy street like Bernadio officer Jeremy Navarro's did. Yes, yeah, stealing from stores is bad, but the sad reality is that if that's all cops did, America would be a much safer place. And I'm not saying this is all she did in uniform that would be considered criminal by people who haven't been indoctrinated and deceived into accepting the actions of the thin blue line cult as legitimate. There's no doubt that she's committed plenty of crimes in uniform that are seen as perfectly legal by the law enforcement community. Legal theft, legal brutality, legal kidnapping, even legalized murder. Hey, as long as it's legal and you can get a black robe tyrant from the injustice system to sign off on it and acquit, it's okay, right? Besides, and I really feel like this needs to be said, I don't know what's more criminal, stealing those $140 shoes while in uniform or wearing that dress and feeling like it's okay to go out in public and post the picture on social media. Don't. Let's all be honest here. She looks much better in those orange jail duds than she did in that cop costume. I think it goes better with her eyes and her demeanor. The Mississippi police chief slammed the sneaker thief in an interview. Columbus Police Chief Joseph Darty said 33-year-old Robin Connor, of course she had to be 33, was on duty in a patrol car before she was arrested on Wednesday for shoplifting. The chief said, quote, an employee observed them and detained the officer and called 911. 911, knowing it was an officer, called the shift supervisor and they notified us. 
Myself, the assistant chief, and the captain over patrol all responded, end quote. They probably did this because they wanted to converge to try to figure out a way to push this huge issue under the rug so that she could keep her job. And after pushing it under the rug, they probably realized, hey, this rug is way too lumpy. It's going to raise too many questions and it just wouldn't be a good look. So the police chief said, quote, we're putting her in jail. It's embarrassing for the department, and we're going to treat her like we would anybody else. Too bad they don't expand this thinking out to include every officer who abuses their power at every single traffic stop in America. Wouldn't it be nice if every department across the country would immediately jail every single officer who violated one single American right? The city council ended up voting five to zero to fire Connor from the police department. Of course, she'll probably get full benefits for the rest of her life. Thanks, tax cattle. Chief Darty, in an attempt to prove there's no conflict of interest, said, quote, the department will handle Connor's arrest like any other. Darty said, quote, if it was a major case, we would turn it over to another agency but this is a misdemeanor and it's pretty much cut and dried. See, that's his problem. He's thinking like a corrupt cop. This is a major issue, not a minor case, because it reveals a major flaw, not only in the perverted thinking of former officer Connor, but in all law enforcement. They quite literally think they can get away with murder while they're wearing their magical costume. They believe they're immune from any and all prosecution because of their outfit. Why else would they act the way they do? And I'm not just referring to Connor's criminal actions. I'm talking about the whole lot involved in the Thin Blue Line gang. They all think they can get away with extortion, violence, burglary, brutality, verbal abuse, breaking enterings, physical abuse, armed robbery, and even murder. Look at Amber Geiger. She murdered an innocent Botham John in cold blood in his own living room for no freaking reason and only gets 10 years. And get this, she's eligible for parole this year. To them, badges and uniforms grant special rights and you better just back the hell off. This firing of Connor is just a public relations stunt to get in the good graces of the public. I mean, listen to this guy. We have a job to do. Uh, we're, we're held to a higher standard. And uh, the community is just starting to trust us. And to take this gut punch really hurts. Uh, that's why we fulfilled our obligation, not only uh, to the store, uh, but to this community. The community is just starting to trust us. According to Human Resources Director Pat Mitchell, Connor has worked with the department since August of 2022. After being taken to jail in her own cruiser, which is hilariously ironic, Connor was then booked into the Loudoun County Adult Detention Center. She was charged with misdemeanor shoplifting for stealing goods worth less than $1,000 and was given an $862 surety bond. By the way, the average salary of a police officer in Columbus, Mississippi is $56,000 a year. You don't think she could afford those shoes? All cops are welfare recipients, and Connor is no different. Of course she could afford them. So it turns out that Robin Connor isn't so straight-laced after all. And like most cops, she probably navigates through life without a soul. She better tread lightly in jail. When they find out she's a cop, she may be involved in many fights, but with the proper footwear, she'll never see defeat. However it ends up, I wouldn't wanna be in her shoes. 
Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and exercise those rights. If you don't exercise those rights, you will lose them. Yeah, I get it. Freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having freedom. I'll see you in the next video.